Hello and welcome to my updated Fraps tutorial. Now what we're going to do here is go through the entirety of Fraps and hopefully help you if you've got some lag issues going on. I did one of these tutorials about two years ago so it's time for an updated tutorial. Now I am running the latest version which is 3.5.9 and that is the current version from September 17th 2012. So. We're going to jump straight into it, the general tab. Now this is what you're going to be greeted with when you first load up Fraps and well, anytime you load up Fraps. Now some of these are personal preferences so I won't really go into them much like start Fraps Minimize, run Fraps when Windows and minimize the system tray. Now I don't tick those because I like to see what I'm doing. I advise you not to start Fraps Minimize. It's always good to go through your settings and always have Fraps Windows key uh, on top so you know what Fraps is doing. Uh, at all times and monitor aerial desktop fraps now well it's done this for a while but fraps records your desktop now so it's not only great for games but it records your desktop too so very straightforward now on to the benchmarking portion of fraps this one is again very straightforward we're not going to spend too much time on it you've got your overlay i would always recommend having some sort of overlay never hide your overlay you always want to know what fraps is doing and basically, you know, just your FPS, your frame times, it's very straightforward. You don't need to know much about that. Uh, your screenshots, again, very straightforward. Uh, you got your key. All these keys are customizable, so you can always change your key if needed. I should also say that this tutorial is for Windows 7 and Vista users only. If you have Windows XP, you're going to be greeted with a different version of Fraps, uh, solely just because of the way the operating systems have progressed. So if you're going to be recording, well, screenshotting, I would recommend BMP formats and unticking include frame rate overlay. It's just going to make things look messy. Now, this is where everything is going to happen when you're recording your movies. So it looks sort of a bit, it's quite a hassle, but it's actually very simple. So we're going to go down this way first. Now your video catch key, I've changed mine to the num alt asterisk uh, again you can change that to whatever you want personal preference i always record around 30 frames per second but i do not lock the frame rate that way it can fluctuate but it generally stays around 30 frames per second uh, I sometimes i record in full size and sometimes i record in half size now i'll get back to these uh, later loop buffer length not really an issue just leave it at 40. Now, the way Fraps used to work is it would split movies at every four gigabytes. Fraps is a huge hog of memory. So, I mean, you could be recording for an hour and depending on what game you're doing, how intense it is, it could be up to like 100 gigabytes. And Fraps would split all those videos at every four gigabytes. So you'd be left with, I don't know, 40 different parts of just one recording session but thankfully they no longer do that you have the option to untick it and keep it all in one neat file that's what i like to do i'm very thankful that they did that i would suggest that you keep just for organization's sake uh, untick the split movie and just keep it as so now if you want to be recording sound which you should be record the windows 7 sound now this one is going to record everything that you hear so if you know, if you hear the game, Fraps is going to hear the game. If you've got somebody on Skype, Fraps is going to record that person on Skype too. Uh, again, stereo and multi-channel. If you want to use multi-channel, if you're doing surround sound, nobody really uses that due to it just going up to YouTube and nobody really has you know, surround sound headsets or whatnot. So I would keep it at stereo. Now record external input. Again, that's just where your microphone's gonna be. So you can record gameplay without having your microphone being picked up. I have it unchecked because I do it by a different program. It works. Uh, all I would suggest is you do your sound testing first. Generally, Fraps has a tendency to increase the game volume. So you're gonna have to put the game volume down quite low and uh, you just gotta find a balance with each game. So it, it's a bit fiddly, but you know, it works. Now we come down to these, the hide mouse cursor in the video. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I leave it off because you know, sometimes the cursor is important in a video. You don't want to be watching a 
a let's play or, or review or what have you and not know where you're supposed to be looking. Lock frame rate while recording, going back to this, if you click 30, 50, 60 or have your own valuable value, sorry, if you have your own value of frames per second that you would like, you can lock it at that frames per second. Again, like I said, I don't do that. I allow fluctuation and force loss loose loss less rgb sorry uh, i i leave that off there's no point in really having it on it doesn't really do that much so lag if you're having lag this is one of the big things with fraps because fraps is quite intensive so if you're having issues a good way to stop lag is in game is usually resolution size resolution size is a huge key because most people just leave full size on and you know France will record the entire resolution at whatever resolution you're playing at. Now if you click half size, France is going to be recording the game at half the resolution size. You'll still be playing in the normal resolution size that you are playing in but France will record at half size and that could be a great help to lighten the load off of your, your computer and I would highly suggest that you do, do 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 that. If you're recording older games it's not really much of an issue so just go back to full size but if you're playing newer releases you're finding that your computer can't really handle it go back to half size. Uh, ultimately if that does not work either I would suggest going down again in the game down some resolution sizes and you should pretty much be good to go from there. So that's pretty much the tutorial. You should be all good to go. Uh, you should be fine with lag. You should know how to work the program. If not, leave some questions and hopefully I can answer them for you. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, happy recording.